Right, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Ferex Electric Scarifier and Aerator. I picked this up this week from Aldi, well when I say picked up, I ordered it online for $69.99 um, and it arrived about three days later, just after the Easter bank holiday. And the main purpose of this is just to take up all that dead grass that's currently growing in the back garden. It was quite easy to assemble, it all came compact in this box, I thought there'd be more pieces, more things to do, uh, but it was simply just uh, screw the handles on, get it all working, uh, and Bob's uncle really, so you can see I'm screwing the sides on here, there's little bits uh, to put on, and then this bit took me a while, to, a while to figure out because there were no instructions in the box, there was a picture, the picture was a bit confusing. Um, I've still got a part which I'll show up on screen now, uh, I've not a clue where it goes, I've had a look around the machine. Uh, maybe there's something I'm missing, but I've got this piece that I'm not sure where it needs to go. But I'm sure I'll probably find it in, in time. I've put it in the garage anyway, just for safekeeping, in case it discover where it is it needs to go. So you can see I'm just screwing on the top part of the handle now, where the uh, mechanism is to turn it on with the button and the um, sort of lever to control it. And as you can see here, this is the air race that's on at the moment, and you can just unlock it, pull up the clasp, it releases the blade so you can remove the aerator and it just pushes to the side and it slides back out and there you can see I'm about to install the scarifier now so there's this sort of uh, hexagonal shape just clips in and there's a bearing on the other side just so it can rotate so it's just controlled by that one side so you clip it in push it in drop it down and then finally put the clasp back over and then the lock clip uh, clicks into place and all the teeth are there, ready to go on the scarifier. So as you can see, I've started sort of halfway up the garden. I did test it for a couple of minutes before I started to film, just to get the gist of it, make sure that I wasn't um, actual, actually scalping the grass and killing anything, because as, as you can see, on the left-hand side, there's a, like a patch of dirt where I had it too low at first, and it just ripped the garden to bits. Um, you can see I'm struggling slightly just to manoeuvre the a scarifier around but I've figured it out finally and off I go with scarifying the grass. So as you can see there's like a little lever on the side so you can adjust the height of where it where it's at. So I was uh, using the zero setting to start with but I found that not a lot of the dead grass was coming up so I moved it down to minus three and this seems to do a much better job of pulling it up and as you can see now as the camera sort of zooms in there's much more soil that you can see there within uh, amongst all the grass blades and you can even see to the side slightly where there's still much more densely packed grass together so that just helps to get more of the uh, dead grass up. So one thing I did find was the basket at the back seems to fill up quite quick. Um, I think with us sort of having a, maybe like a small to medium sized garden it wasn't too much of an issue but I can imagine if you've got quite a large area of grass to cut that you know the basket's going to fill up pretty quickly and you're going to need to empty it quite a few times. Uh, luckily I'm filming this on a Wednesday, uh, oh, I actually, actually it's a Tuesday, and the grass is being collected on the Friday. But you can actually see straight away there where the uh, there's much more of the dead grass is being dragged up now that I've actually emptied the basket. Right, so I think I must have made some sort of mistake here. The way I've turned it, it's absolutely just ripped the ground to bits. Uh, I think part of it might be because our garden isn't really the, the flattest. We laid the turf last year ourselves and we didn't really put enough topsoil down before actually laying the rolls of turf. So that, that may possibly be why, potentially. But um, yeah, I learned this time that when it comes to turning it around the best, sort of lean it back on its back two wheels, lift sort of the scarifying teeth in the air and then continue. Everyone probably should have been doing that anyway, but like I said, to learn it the hard way. And something mad that happened as well whilst I was uh, doing this, uh, it, it started to snow, you can sort of see on screen now, some snowflakes coming down, um, and it's the 6th of April, well that's when I, I filmed it anyway, so crazy weather to be doing it in, uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd show you that because it was a little bit bizarre for this time of year. So overall, I'd say that this Scarifier and Aerator is definitely worth the money. I think for um, the £70 that I paid for it, it's 
definitely done the job that I wanted it to do. Uh, as you can see with the next shot coming up now, uh, the grass obviously it doesn't look massively different, but you can actually see the soil and you can see where it's taken off up most of that dead grass so that the soil can breathe. Um, I've not yet used the aerator tool, I think, because of the snow, but I will be doing a follow up video uh, reviewing that part of the machine too. And finally, you can see from above, yeah, you can actually see the soil between the grass blades. So definitely ready to be overseeded and to be aerated later this week. I'm gonna give it a four out of five for the quality. I'll give it a four out of five again for the usability, just without having a cable, uh, which makes it a little bit more awkward to maneuver. But I'd give it a solid five out of five for the price. And I would highly recommend this with an overall four and a half out of five.